Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we are working on another mini carving. Now, just a reminder, these are just really uh, simple, basic carvings that we're, we're just doing with the chainsaw. In these videos, I'm not taking them any further. It's gonna be on you for detail work. I may finish them and put them in the membership or the members part of my channel. But for the most part, cleaning them up and finishing them is, is fairly easy. You guys can use your power tools, clean them up, and paint them. Today, though, we're going to be just carving a mini tree. Now, the whole idea behind the mini carving tutorials and the mini carving series is I've become aware that not everyone can get large logs and large pieces of wood to carve. And so I decided, you know what, we'll carve up some pine branches and show you guys that we can make art out of just about anything we can get our hands on. Now the goal is to be starting with small branches like this and work our way up maybe to some eight inch logs and uh, then we'll get back into probably bigger pieces but you know starting small will also help you guys build forearm muscle, shoulder muscle, teach you control with the saw, kind of preparing you for those larger carvings that you'll end up doing in the future. So if this is something you guys are interested in, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and let's start making some sawdust. <laughs> So I got you zoomed in here, so hopefully you guys can see. Stuff's been out in the snow, it's got a bunch of ice on it. But just a quick reminder, make sure you guys are wearing your safety gear, you know, gloves, eyes, ear protection. I'll be running a battery saw. You guys could be using a gas saw, something with a small chain. The saw I'm running is running 43 gauge chain. So it's a small chain for all these small cuts. If you're running 50 gauge chain or something bigger, it might be tough to create these little carvings. So again, these carvings and these tutorials are, uh, you know, in mind of those who are in other countries that are going to have a difficult time getting large logs. And so you may want to think about a saw with a smaller chain anyway, if all you can do is carve small pieces. So just something to kind of kind of think about going forward. Now, I've got a camera set up here on top of the saw. So hopefully you guys can get a really good first person view and I'm gonna do my best to walk you through all the cuts. Let me get my gear on and uh, let's get started. All right, I'm actually gonna run one glove on, one glove off so I can keep touching the GoPro here so I can make sure you guys can see. But one thing you wanna do is make sure the bottom of your piece is square first. You know, cut it, make sure it's gonna sit flat. And we're making just Christmas trees, so the first few cuts, we're gonna take this top and taper it down. Bear with me as I adjust the camera, because this is a new setup. I wanna make sure you guys can see what is up. All right, let's start making some cuts. All right, so my tree actually keeps moving. I wanna make sure I got a good grip and it's not gonna go anywhere. Not like that. So let's loosen this back up, see if I can get it back in there. There's a little branch on here. It's not letting me get it on there really good, so. All right, let's see. So it is key to get that piece in your jaw horse just right. You don't want it moving around a whole heck of a lot. Now these are green pieces. Green wood is a lot more forgiving in the beginning, but as the piece dries out, it's going to crack. It's going to split and crack. It's just gonna happen. I don't do repairs on many pieces. I do repairs on bigger pieces and a video for carving repairs is probably popping up right now on the top of the screen if that's something you're interested in. So next. 
I want to come in and start making some lines down, kind of swooping motion for the, uh, you know, for like the branches and stuff. Now it is kind of tough with such a little piece here, but we're going to make it work. I kind of want these... Now keep in mind, these are just ideas, guys. We're not making deep cuts. We're just going for a Christmas tree sort of look. All right, the idea of these is a quick sale. Quick sale, which means not a ton of time, not a ton of deep. Some people are going to laugh at this video and go, that tree is horrible. But you know what? It's okay. Again, this is not a high detailed tree. Okay, guys? Right now we're working our forearms because we keep having to tilt that saw back and forth. And on top of that, this is the kind of thing you can sell for maybe $10, $8, 10 $12 when you're done and make a few dollars. Like craft fairs or maybe an online store or give as gifts. It's just practice stuff. It's just simple stuff. It's ideas. It's things that you guys can take and say, hey, I can make that out of what I have. I can tweak it. I can do it better than he can. Absolutely make it better. Do it better. It's just an idea.
All right, so we got this basic tree shape, right? You guys can kind of see what's what's going on there, right? It's nothing crazy. It doesn't even have as much detail as most of our trees, but it's enough where you can paint it, and it's a tree. You can also bust out some saber tooth bits, clean it up, take it to the workbench, you know, make up a whole bunch of them, go in and just clean it up. Now, I'm going to move it up on the jaw horse a bit higher. And, uh... We'll work on getting it down to a trunk. We need a trunk on this thing, so. This piece is actually a little bit short, but we'll see if we can make it work. This log was under three inches, so that's what we're dealing with. A piece that's under three inches in girth, and it's probably six inches tall. Just using branches. not to hit that jaw horse. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. That's it, simple, basic tree. 
all done with the chainsaw okay it's really really small as you guys can see there is some detail not a ton of detail we're doing up cuts and side cuts and doing different things with the saw. I know I didn't walk you through it. We just kind of did it. It's mostly for an idea for them branches. Okay, I've got other tree carving tutorials on here. I will put links to those popping up so you guys can kind of see some more technique for that. Because bigger pieces of wood, bigger logs, even things in like the 6 to 8 inch range are going to drastically change the way this tree looks and the way you're able to carve it. Okay. It's really, really going to make a big, big difference for you when you can get a bigger piece of wood. But for now, for those of you that only have small pieces, again, this is about eh, actually about three inches in diameter. Here's a small tree you guys can make. And honestly, you can take it as far as you want. But keep in mind where you live, how much you think you can actually sell it for, and is it going to be worth your time to take this to the bench, hit it with your Dremel and your power tools and clean it up, or hit it with some paint, sell it like it is, or even hit it with the torch for just a little color and sell it like it is. It is important to remember though, remove that bark on the bottom, unless the tree is cut in the middle of winter, otherwise the bark is going to fall off anyway. Also, be sure to let your customers know, hey, it's probably going to crack as it dries. But really, that is it, guys. That's it for this video. Quick, simple, little carve, real time. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully it'll help those of you out and uh, perfecting your skill and using up little scrap pieces and branches to, uh, to carve with. All right, guys, so that's basically it for the mini tree. Okay, this is what we got. Nothing crazy, not a ton of detail, but a mini tree. You can make a bunch of them. You can sell them pretty cheap, burn it for some color up here, sand it off, paint it, whatever you want to do. It's a few dollars. You can at least get like eight to 10 bucks for something like this. A little more, a little less, depending on where you guys live. Okay, um, these mini carvings, like I said, I'm not going to be finishing them up here in videos like this because these are just quick idea videos. I may go through and do fully finished uh, videos on the members part of my YouTube channel here, but I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Now, as we go, we will start using bigger and bigger pieces. And you guys will be able to see how the carvings are able to evolve and how you're able to, to really hone in and start to develop your skills. With the info I have from other people from different parts of the world and the logs are able to get eight inches seems to be, you know, a consistent thing. So I think I've got some six to eight inch stuff and honestly, we'll be able to carve some really cool pieces out of that. But first, I have two more videos I'm going to make with things that are in that three inch to four inch range. And the next video, we're just going to do a quick morel mushroom all chainsaw and then after that we're going to go ahead and do a bear so two more tutorials with logs this small we're still going to be in that mini carving series so be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe hit that bell for and hit all so you guys don't miss those videos okay because once we're done with the next morel mushroom and we're done with a mini bear we're going to go ahead and step up the log size and basically make all this stuff again and hopefully get you guys a little more detail and a little bit better look. And we're just going to continue to do that. The next log size will probably, I don't know, we'll see. We might even be able to throw a bird in there, whether it's an eagle or an owl. So we'll get through the next two videos. We'll go ahead and we'll make some different stuff and maybe add something new to the line of mini carvings all right guys again be sure to give the video a thumbs up i really do appreciate it check out the amazon links down below for tools i'm using which you can't find because i can't link chainsaws there but all the other tools i normally use will be there the jaw horse power tools carving bits you guys can find all that in those links you guys can also follow me on social media through those links see what's going on more of my day to day check out the family channel link as well my website man the list goes on there's all kinds of stuff down in the description of these videos be sure to check it out and again guys i really do appreciate this i appreciate the opportunity you're all giving me to make these videos and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks